Well, I have two things first. Thank you very much for coming. I feel like this thing is comparing with my size. So I, I'm going to try to, yeah, I, there. I'm going to move here. And plus, I, my first language is Spanish, so it's a very like, big challenge for me to speak English. So I'm going to try to do my best. Uh, my name is Fabiola Martinez. I'm from Mexico, and uh, I'm a visual artist. And I'm going to start in how I came to Canada. It was 2005, and uh, I quit my job, and I decided that I wanted to learn English. So I came to Vancouver. I went to Vancouver, and I didn't know I speak English, and I came just with a $1,000 that I thought that I was just going to be, be fine. I did not realize how expensive it was there. And then I get my job, a first job, working in a ranch with horses. And, uh, and I remember my friend telling me, like, uh, Fabi, those horses are not like Mexican horses. They are Horses. So I remember people taking pictures of me, like this lady Fabi here pulling the horse. Like, like it was so funny that little Mexican girl doing it, right? So, anyways, I did not plan to stay until I met Jake and uh, this uh, handsome guy from St. John selling me the seed. And he said, Before you go to Mexico, you should come to the Atlantic Canada to visit this beautiful city with those beautiful buildings, and you are going to love it. So I thought, Well, yeah. Let's go. So I, uh, I came and I fell in love with the city and I fell in love with the people. Like everybody was so happy and saying hi to you and, oh, you know, talking. And, um, <laughs> and it was really nice. And, uh, and I just wanted to stay here. And it was in 2007 when I decided to establish myself here. So unfortunately, for two years I couldn't work because I did not have my residentship. So it was until 2009 when I... Um, I, uh, I started working and uh, I set up my goal of buying our first home. So I started selling my paintings at the San Juan City Market. Um, that's a very funny story because I did not care about for how much I would be selling my paintings. I was just worried about getting the payment down for my house. So we got it. In seven months, we did it. We bought our first uh, home. And... Uh, and then we, I have my studio, and uh, I start to have my solo exhibitions in St. John, in Fredericton, in New Brunswick, uh, all around New Brunswick, in Moncton. And uh, I've always been very interested about community development and cultural heritage. So when I was starting my new family here with my two boys, I started, we were living here in St. John, and uh, I started to be very connected with, with the South Bend. And, uh, and then I learned about the Joshua Group, and I wanted uh, to help and be part of it. So I designed this uh, program, a dedicated, oh, this is like, um, a dedicating, uh, this, um, uh, designed this program dedicated to those kids at risk. So uh, I did this program in partnership with the St. John Art Center, with Arts Link, and founded by Arts and B. And uh, it was really good. I felt really good. But I uh, also I wanted to do something else. So I started to have my my solo exhibitions, um, and uh, and I have the opportunity to do two solo exhibitions in Mexico. One of them was in the funding by the Mexican government in um, in the Congress of Querétaro State of the state of Querétaro, which is my hometown, and uh, and it was really good. But uh, Going to Mexico, bringing something of the beautiful seascape of Canada, it was really nice. And then coming from Mexico, bringing something about the beautiful seascape from Mexico to Canada, it was really nice. But then it was in a point where I have, I feel like I have a bigger commitment. Like I wanted to explore more about the identity. I wanted to, to, to be more connected with my roots and with my actual life in Canada, which I thought that it was, it was, very, uh, it was very conflicted inside for me. As an artist, you want, to, uh, you want to promote your roots, and you want to promote who you are and where you're coming from. So I thought that I was missing that. And then that's when the art accelerator came up, because I was going through, moving through this direction of my, of my career, and, uh, and I... I remember 10 years ago, uh, my uncle gave me this uh, pigment, cochineal, Dactylopus cocus costa. 
And I thought, what is that? Like, well, it's a female insect that produces this carmine color that it grows in a cactus in Mexico. And he gave me this red pigment, and I thought, what am I going to do with one color? I love all the colors. Like, I, I really want to paint about every single color. What am I going to do with only red? So I, for so long, I didn't feel that ready to use it. But then when I went to that transition of wanting to create something that would connect my roots and something, my actual life here in Canada, I, I thought that it was the right time for me to do it. So I started doing it last year. And then, um, and then I, uh, I started to create my, my new body of work with Cochinella and uh, using natural objects that belong to New Brunswick. So I started creating compositions that will be able me to connect my ancestors with my actual life here. And, uh, and now I am um, very pleased to share with you, as Kate mentioned, that uh, I was selected to participate uh, to the International Arts Fair in Vancouver. So I'm leaving next week, and I'm very excited to be able to share the Atlantic Canada nature to, uh, to the Pacific Coast. And, um, and I'm very grateful as well to the Art Accelerator program, because uh, one of the one of the parts that I always struggle with is the marketing side and how to run a business without losing your identity as an artist. So uh, the value proposition was a big struggle for me. And, uh, and talking this course, it was, uh, it was very clear for me to define a clear vision and what I want to be next year and what I want to be in five years. So thank you very much. And I hope that everything that I said makes sense to you. And uh, please feel free to, to see three of the paintings that I, I bring with Cochinella on, on, maple, on maple and uh, Canadian pine and on canvas. Everything is natural. Everything is made of materials that um, belongs to the Atlantic Canada. And thank you very much.